Hello. So you've probably already realised that I'm filming in a different location today. Whoa, aren't I just crazy? You don't know what's going to happen this week on Court of DW. He does whatever he wants. He can film in his kitchen if he wants. Fuck. Yes, I am in my kitchen. And this can only mean one thing. Cooking with Courtney, cooking with Courtney. This is the show where Courtney cooks with you. That's why it's called Cooking with Courtney. Yeah. Yes, about four weeks ago, I asked you guys for your suggestions on what I should cook for Cooking with Courtney, and you didn't disappoint. You guys sent in your tweets in the th Threes. And I picked my favorite, which was um, cook the Courtney pizza. So basically, a rad pizza with whatever you want on it. Sounds cool. And that was from at P -p 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 Paradise. Well, Paradise, let's hope you're right, and let's hope this pizza's pretty rad. <laughs> so without further ado, because uh, you're probably really bored, shall we start cooking? But remember, kids, be hygienic. Wash your hands first. And these ingredients are gonna seem left over because, um, they are. If you've liked my Facebook page, you'll know that I tried making this video two days ago and uh, it didn't go too well because the camera shut down and didn't record the video. So um, I've already made a pizza about two days ago, so I'm just using like the leftover ingredients now to try again. So uh, yeah, that's why the ingredients look left over, because they are. So here's everything you're going to need to make the Courtney pizza. A pizza base, tomato puree, Italian herbs, cheese, ham, pepperoni, bacon, onion, some pepper, a cheese grater, a chopping board, and a knife. Okay, let's cook. So the first thing I'm gonna wanna do is get that pizza base out. Yeah, yeah, that's right, cut it open. <sighs> cut it open. Uh, cut it open. Then, once you have safely removed your pizza base, you're going to want to add the tomato puree. And I've decided I'm going to draw a nice smiley face because I'm happy. Ah, ah, isn't he so cute? Ah, oh, he's drawing a smiley face, he's happy. Ah. Oh. Then, once you've spread the tomato puree across the whole pizza, it's time to add the Italian herbs to create the pizza sauce that we all know and love. Aye, just a few pinches of Terps will do, laddie. Scottish accent. It's fucking appalling. I'm gonna stop now, because that's embarrassing. Just a bit more Italian herbs added to the mix should secure that flavoursome Italian taste that we all acquire when we nibble into a slice of traditional pizza. Okay, so now I've added my sauce and my herbs. It's time to add the cheese. Cheese, meat grater. Grater, meat cheese. <sighs> great, great, great. Now that I've started grating the cheese, I've got to admit, I feel kind of bad for it. I mean, it just wanted to live its life out as a block of cheese, you know? Maybe get carp into a few slices, put on some toast, maybe put in a sandwich, but no, I'm inhumanely grating it into tiny little bits. Shocking. Whoever invented the cheese grater must have really hated cheese. Grating cheese is quite fun at first, you know, it's quite enjoyable. You feel like you're like, you know, really hard. And you're like, yeah, fucking grating that cheese, bitch. But then after a while it just gets really boring and your arm starts knackering. It's not fun anymore. So as you can see, I've grated quite a large amount of cheese there. So um, I'm gonna add that to the pizza, see if it's enough. And if it isn't, grate some more. So uh, let's start adding the cheese. So I'm sure we can both agree that that is not enough cheese for a pizza. So back to the grater it is. So that is now plenty of cheese for the pizza. So we've got our main base. So now it's time to start adding some ingredients. So the first thing I'm gonna cut up and add is the pepper. So uh, let's start cutting that up now. Mm. 
So that's the peppers added. Now it's time to cut up the onion. So uh, let's do that. And you've probably already noticed by now that I'm cutting the things up really small because uh, I hate it when you're eating a pizza, right? And you bite into your nice old slice and then you take off all the toppings in one go because like all the toppings are massive. So I'm cutting everything up really small so that I'll have toppings in every single bite I eat. Genius. So that is both the onions and the peppers added now. And you know what that means. It's time for the meat. So the first meat I'm going to add is our ham. So uh, let's start cutting that up. I think about four slices should do for this. So uh, yeah, that should be fine. So that's the ham cut up and added to the pizza. Now I'm going to add the pepperoni and even though it comes in the size slices that uh, you get on pizza, I'm going to cut these up as well anyway because as I said before, I like everything on my pizza really small. So uh, we're going to do that now. Four slices for the pizza and one for moi. Yummy. So with the pepperoni added, we come to our last bit which is the bacon. <sighs> bacon strips and bacon strips and bacon strips and bacon strips. I like my bacon like I like my women. Tasty, quiet, and cut up into tiny chunks. The smell of this bacon almost makes me want to punch a camel in the throat. But I won't, because I'm animal friendly. Well, I don't know about you, but that pizza looks pretty damn tasty to me. So I'm going to stick that in the oven for 15 minutes and then tuck in. Right, that should be done now. It's been 15 minutes. Let's have a little look. Oh, yes. Oh, would you look at that? If that ain't beautiful, I don't know what is. Oh, that looks good. Boom, there we go. Challenge completed, pizza made, cooking with Courtney, done. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up down there. And if you haven't already, please subscribe up there. It gives me an erection. And leave a comment down below telling me what would be on your dream pizza. Unless you don't like pizza, in which case, leave. And never come back. I'm kidding. Kind of. Right, I'm going to go enjoy my delicious pizza and leave you with the end screen. So, peace out, bitches. Next time, I'm a... Uh, not going to be cooking. It's just going to be a vlog. Like it normally is. <laughs>